102. I don't know what you do to try and help you sleep at night, but I have found that counting sheep has never, ever helped me. Now, apparently in the UK at the moment, in this time of lockdown, nearly half the population is struggling with sleep. And a lot more of us are dreaming much more vividly. Now, maybe that's, that's you. Well, as we all know, sleep is hugely important for both our physical health, but also our mental health. So what do we do when sleep doesn't come? Well, there's a whole host of suggestions out there, like having a hot milky drink before you go to bed or not looking for your mobile phone for at least an hour before going to bed. But the Bible actually also has something to say about sleep. In Psalm 4, which was written by King David, David was clearly facing a very difficult and um, challenging and hard time of his life. And so what does he do? Well, at the very beginning of the psalm, in verse 1, David says this, Answer me when I call to you, my righteous God. Give me relief from my distress. Have mercy on me and hear my prayer. What does David do? Well, he, he prays. He prays to the Lord. He brings his distress and his situation before the Lord. And as a result of that, at the end of the psalm, David says this. In peace, I will lie down and sleep. For you alone, Lord, make me dwell in safety. Clearly, David's situation had caused him some sleepless nights. But once he's brought his situation before the Lord, once he's prayed about it, he says that he can sleep in peace. Now, I don't know about you, but when I can't sleep, I start to panic and I start to look at my watch and think, oh, how many more hours have I got to try and get some sleep? And that, that tossing and that, that turning and that just panic and desperation of wanting to be asleep is horrible. Well, next time you find yourself in that situation, do what David did. Pray about it. Bring it before the Lord. Bring your worry, bring your anxiety, bring your sleeplessness before the Lord. Now, sleep may still not come, but if we ask for peace, then at least we can lie in the quiet and the still and get some rest. And it doesn't matter what time of day we pray to the Lord. It doesn't matter what time we call to him, even if it's 2 a.m. in the morning. Because as it says in Psalm 121, in verse 3, it says this, He will not, that's God, will not let your foot slip. He who watches over you will not slumber. Indeed, he who watches over Israel will neither slumber nor sleep. You see, God doesn't sleep. God is always looking over us. A friend of mine um, used to say that every night when she went to bed, she would pray, Lord, let me sleep in the palm of your hand. What a beautiful picture that is of us resting and sleeping in the palm of our Heavenly Father's protective hand. So when sleep doesn't come, let's pray and let's ask the Lord to give us peace and give us rest. Well, please do take care of yourselves and I look forward to posting next week's video. Take care. Bye.